Harvard, Zurich, and the University of Miami publish an incredible report. According to their research, they've discovered that many circular-shaped ocean patterns, otherwise known as eddies, are the mathematical equivalent of black holes in space. Mainstream scientists are now forced to ask themselves, have black holes been on Earth all along, not only in the oceans, but also on dry land? Some people will say, oh, we understand black holes completely, and that's nonsense. We're seeing in the universe black hole candidates, and they're displaying a range of behaviors which we hadn't anticipated. It turns out that when you look at the mathematics of vortices, there's a certain universality that we see them when you pull the plug in your bathtub. You see them in hurricanes and twisters. You see them as a universal feature of nature. We are looking for solutions to a unified electrodynamic space-time that will allow us to open a portal a vortex portal, perhaps, to another star system that we can transit. And to do that with a far lower threshold of energy than one would expect from conventional black hole theory. But if, as scientists are now beginning to discover, black holes can provide gateways through time and distance, not only in outer space, but on our own planet, could they also be controlled? As far as ancient astronaut theorists are concerned, the answer is a resounding yes. And they argue that Earth's black holes have been controlled for thousands of years.